When you create and save an Excel document, the default file format is going to be an XLSX file. But you can also save it in a variety of other different file formats. You can also export it as a PDF, and you can also share your content for collaboration purposes. So let's go ahead and see in the file tab. When I click on save as, you'll notice here that my default is automatically an XLSX file format. But if I click on the drop down, you'll notice there's a number of different other file formats. And probably the second most common file format you'll want to save it as after an Excel file is going to be a CSV or a comma separated value. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, you might be working with people who do not have Excel, but you still want them to be able to read it. Then you can save it as a CSV file. You also might be exporting this to an external web-based format, and it only reads it as a CSV. Now let's go ahead and see how we can export it as a PDF. So you go over to here to export. You'll notice here I have this option to create a PDF. And then right from here, you can create it as a PDF. And you can see here it preserves the layout, formatting, fonts, images, etc. And if I click on that, you're going to see here it takes me to this dialog box that allows me to determine where I'm going to save it and also the file format give me the option to also open it after publishing. And then it is going to give me some other options in terms of how big I want the file to be, as well as other options inside of here, which will also allow me to decide the page range of how far I want to export this, what sheets I want to publish, and so much more. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that, cancel out of that. Now, what if you wanted to email this? Well, all you need to do is simply click on file and you can see here's my option for share. And then I can go ahead and email it right from here and then send it as an attachment. And also notice I have the ability to send it as a PDF. So not only do I have the option to send this as an Excel file and attachment, but I can also convert it as a PDF and send it as a PDF in an email. All right, let's go ahead and hit the back button. And lastly, what if I wanted to share this content and have people collaborate on the same document. So you see here in the upper right, I have the option to share. Now you can see here I have the share option. I also have copy link as an option here. Now, if I click on share, this is going to take me to this dialog box. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that it mentions my OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud-based service. Now, because this file is going to be saved in the cloud, I can then collaborate with people because it will then be shared in the cloud. And then when I share this document with other people, we'll all be looking at the same file at the same time. Now, this does have to be saved in the cloud in order for this to work. If it is saved only on your computer, you will not be able to collaborate. So just make sure that it is in fact saved in the cloud and not just on your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and click away. And then also notice here when I click on share that my copy link option, which is gonna be a link to the online OneDrive file, it's currently grayed out because it's not currently saved in the cloud. But once you do save it in the cloud, you'll be able to share and collaborate on the same file. So lots of options for saving, for exporting, for publishing and collaborating. So go ahead, give it a shot, save your files in a variety of different file formats, export it as a PDF, collaborate with others sharing it in the cloud, and also email in a variety of different file formats. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.